What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmanuel. This is Avalang Outdoors. Got my cousin Leaf with me today. We're going diving, gonna see what we can find. We are hoping for a hogfish. It's a pretty beautiful day. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can't find one. Right, guys we just got out here it is absolutely beautiful there is no wind we actually ran out of storm and now it's just completely glassed off out here now it's a turtle yeah there's turtles around completely glassed off no wind it's actually pretty hot now so we're gonna go ahead and get on our stuff get down in the water see if we can't find some fish oh my gosh it has been a little while for sure guys for Bad sure minute. but we're here 20 feet of water we're gonna see if we can find I just missed on a big hog. I took a shot at him, I missed him. That's a nice hog. Hold him up. Nice hog, buddy. Beautiful Miami hog right there. <laughs> oh yeah. All right guys, I dived down. I've actually taken a shot at this hog twice and I missed him. My gun wasn't loaded. I told Khalif run over, shoot him. Nice hog, first thing in the morning, first spot. All right, guys, first spot, it was a success. We shot a hogfish. The limit is one per person, so we're able one more. So we're gonna keep bouncing around. We're gonna run a little further um, north. See if we can't find some more hogfish. We got one already. They are delicious. So we want another one. Hog season actually just opened with grouper season. And as you guys can see, that lobster down there is staring at me in the face because he knows lobster season is closed. So we're just gonna try to find that hogfish. And then honestly, I'll be content. After that, I'll be fine to go home. So we're gonna keep trying to see what happens.
All right, guys, check it out. We're at a spot in literally 10 feet of water. Super big rock, holds a ton of fish, a bunch of life on it. Saw a nice red grouper come out. He kept, he kept spooking, running back in the rock. I dove down, found him under the rock, put in a real good shot. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's a real good shot. He rocked himself up, we're trying our best to get him. From what I can see, it's a pretty nice a red grouper. So my gun's back there floating. We're just taking a quick breather because we were going crazy for a second. And then I am hoping we can land this red grouper. And then honestly, after that, I'm going home. All right, guys, for some reason, the audio on this video cut out. This is my fourth dive back down on the spot. I actually shot this fish on the other side of the rock and he went deeper in the rock and got my spear all jammed up in there. Still kicking, giving me a hard time. I'm yanking, yanking, yanking. Can't get him out. Run out of air and after we surface. After that dive, I cut the line on my gun from the other side of the rock, dive back down. It was much easier to get a hold of the fish. As you guys can see, I pull him right off my shaft, pull my shaft up, and after about 15 minutes, finally landed my first red grouper. Oh guys, my first ever grouper on a spear gun. I'm using a Pathos laser roller gun, 110. Got the job done, this fish rocked me up, but thank God we got him out. And now we have an absolutely delicious dinner. Awesome fish, look at that. Through and through shot. I can literally put my finger through there, look at that. <laughs> Perfect, a little meat shot, but I shot under a rock. I couldn't really tell where I was shooting. I'm just so happy we got him. Yes, sir. Guys, let me know if you feel my pain. I can never get this thing off, man. Here, it's like caught under my chin. The pool right there. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're free boys. Oh. All right guys, so that's about it for the day. It was a very short day, but we came out here looking for hogfish. I honestly wasn't even expecting a grouper, but we found them. And that's enough food that we need for right now. So I'm just gonna turn around, head home. I might be coming back down to the beach tomorrow. I might cook up that grouper in the morning on the beach. So we'll see how that goes. It was great being out here. I have not dived in a while. It was so nice to be in the water. Beautiful day out here in Miami. I'm just gonna go home. All right guys, it is the next day. We're here at a little random island in Miami. If you're from Miami, you probably know where I am. With some family today, we're chilling out. Gonna cook up some fish, cook up some hot dogs. Got that grouper in there. So we're gonna take him out, fillet him up, and then throw him on the grill I just bought. All right guys, so I got that red grouper here. I'm gonna quickly fillet him. Take my knife, run it up into the fish's head. Lots of waves going on here. Once we run our knife up into the fish's head, we're just gonna outline our fish. Take your time, outline them all the way down. Push your knife through, run it down the tail. Take your knife, go down against the spine, and just cut away, take your time. Still take your time, just cut down. Look at that beautiful white meat. And there you go. Beautiful piece of red grouper right there. 
And there you go, guys. Knock the side right off of them. I have never actually ate red grouper or caught one or speared one, so this will be my first time. I'm pretty excited. Look at that. All right, guys. Once you get your fillet off, I'm gonna take your knife, hold the skin, and just run your knife up against the skin. How do you mess up hot dogs, bro? All right, guys, you got some hot dogs going. Need a fork. One fork, you did. Yeah, I, I brought a fork. There you go. All right, guys, let's finish up the other side of this grouper. Same thing as the other side, guys. Just gonna outline your fish. There we go, guys. Just gonna take your knife, cut the, the meat away from the bones. About that. All right, guys, I do not usually ever wash off my fillets, but we are at the beach, so drop that in the water. Everybody want your buns warm? <laughs> huh? Toasty. Toasty? Warm buns? <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. Two pieces of red grouper getting ready to hop on the grill right there. Where you want her extra bird? Now we have double up here. It's a great day to be alive, guys. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw this fish right on there. There we go. The oil's right there so you can throw some on there. This guy is rubbing oil with the leaf. This is called poison oak. <laughs> is it hot? Of course it's hot. Huh? What kind of fish? Red grouper. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Oh shoot, that's probably too hard. Guess what? How are you gonna flip that? Don't worry about that, man. Oh. Oh, let's come with that truck. Right there. <laughs> oh. Woo I'm gonna break that piece off. Yeah, that's for the tip, sir. For the tip. Oh shoot, there goes the eggs. 
Didn't do too well, huh? <laughs> oh. All right, guys, salt on the other side. I do not want to put too much salt by accident. Some more quick, black quick, pepper. Quick, quick, quick. And then some more garlic powder. All right, guys, so we'll give that a couple more seconds and then we'll be eating some fish right here on the beach. We got some scraps here. All the fish is over there. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test. It tastes similar to lobster. It smells like lobster. It tastes delicious. All right, cool. Now we're gonna enjoy, guys. I'll take that. Look at that, guys. It tastes very similar to lobster. It's delicious. What do you so think? It's like lobster. It's good? There we go, guys. As it should be. Oh my gosh, guys! We got some bait fish here, and we got a barracuda crashing them. Look at look at all those mullet. Those are all mullet, and there's a big barracuda smashing them on the surface. It was pretty big. You'll probably see him do it again. Oh my god! Dude, did you see the Kuda come right here again? Right at our feet. You didn't see that? No. Bro, he came right here at our feet and pointed it. Look, look, he cut him right in half. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that is insane. Guys, a barracuda came right to our feet and absolutely destroyed this bait. Wow. Alrighty guys, so we're just chilling out at the island. I actually transported all of my family here from land back and forth, back and forth. Look how beautiful it is out here. But guys, that is all I have for today. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It does help me a lot to show my videos to other people. If not, it's all good. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time.